Hello everyone, welcome again to UK and another Alaskan Road Truckers video. In preparation for the console launch on July the 11th, I've been making videos to give you an idea of what to expect if you are going to purchase it on console. Like this one for example, popping up top right of your screen where we go inside the cab, look at the interactive elements on the steering wheel, the dashboard, various storage cupboards and how to cook your food inside the cab using the microwave. In this video, we're gonna go outside the cab, looking at the interactive elements under the hood, the various storage cupboards around the truck, and also how to hook up a load ready to make a delivery. So let's get on with today's video. So looking at our lovely looking truck here, the first thing I'm gonna show you is a storage cupboard. It's actually called a toolbox, but it's a two slot storage cupboard. And in here, I'm sort of keeping my winter related stuff like the radiator cover, for example. You can just press what's in the toolbox and it will go back to your inventory and vice versa. If you press it on your inventory, it will go back to your toolbox. You don't have to keep winter related stuff in here. You can keep anything in here. You could keep your pizza are in here if you wanted to. Moving over to the tyres, you can see we've got an interact button here. If we interact with that and the tyre needed to be repaired, it certainly would get a repair. Mine currently don't need a repair. If we move over to the rear tyres, this is where you're going to gain access to the chains for winter. And if we press interact to put them on, it just reminds us that you can only put them on during the winter. We're currently in the summer, but if it was the winter, you just press the interact button, chains would be attached to your tyre and it would give you better traction in the ice and the snow. Now before we go under the hood and see the interactive elements there and the parts that need to be replaced, I've actually stored quite a few parts inside the cab for such emergencies. So if we go back into the cab, and down in this cupboard here, this is quite a big cupboard. It's an eight slot cupboard and we've got wipers, we've got bulbs, fuses, we've got air filters. If I put my food over there, I can make room in my inventory and actually take all the bits we need out there, um, such as engine oil, etc. So, yes, we've got everything in our inventory to be able to go and maintain our truck. If we start at the front of the truck, we've got some consumables that need repairing or replacing, like the headlight bulbs, for example. If we look at the right hand, if we press the interact button, it tells us that doesn't need a repair. Is that the same for the left hand? No, we need a little bit of a repair there, and you also get some mechanical experience for doing that as well. The UI can give you clues as to what needs repairing on your truck. If you look bottom right of the screen, you can see a yellow radiator warning. So let's go and have a look under the hood at the radiator and see what needs repairing. So we can just interact with the hood and it goes through a very cool animation of him lifting the top of the hood up. We climb up onto the engine bay and we go over and interact with the radiator. Now what you need to do here is like a quick time event. You hold X and whilst you're holding X, we do need to press LB at the right time to make sure that the repair happens smoothly. If you don't get it at the right time, it will just restart. We can also check the coolant. Again, using the interact button, we can press RT to pour how much we want or how much we've got on us. We've only got five ounces, so we're just gonna hold RT until it's completely full. Same goes for the engine oil as well. We can hold the right trigger and fill it up to the correct level. There's a fuse box inside the engine bay. Currently, all my fuses are intact. If they wasn't, I just need to interact with it and replace a fuse. And you can buy fuses at a local petrol garage. The wipers actually wear out, especially if you use the wipers on a dry windscreen. If you needed to replace those, you would just interact. And as long as you've got them in your inventory, it would automatically replace them. You can also repair the windshield here. Mine doesn't need a repair. And in winter, you can actually interact with the windshield and scrape ice off there to help with visibility, which is a great touch. Last but not least in the engine bay is the air filter. If we interact with that and it needs repairing, it's gonna take us to a very similar quick time event, the same as what it was to repair the radiator. So we're gonna hold X to repair and we're gonna press LB at the correct time and that will fully repair the air filter. 
Once we step down from the engine bay, he will go through the animation where he's closing the hood. That leaves us one more element to show you here, which is the truck battery. Now the truck batteries don't really need replacing that much and they are quite expensive. The one I just purchased from a garage was $500. But if we have got that and it does need repairing, you're just gonna click on there, you're gonna press A, and that's gonna give you quite a bit of mechanical experience. You have to keep your eye on the temperature of the vehicle, particularly in winter. And you've got a radiator cover. As long as you've got that on your inventory, you can interact with the radiator cover, press X, and this will add a cover. Now you don't want this in the summer because it will overheat, but in the winter, this is an absolute necessity. That's all the interactive elements around your truck. Now let me show you how to attach a trailer to your truck so you can get on your way and do some deliveries. As we reverse into our truck, take a note of that on-screen display in the middle there. It's really handy, it turns green when it, you know you're in the right place to connect up your trailer. Once we've done that, let's turn the ignition off, put the handbrake on for safety, step outside as we take a look at our general goods that we're gonna be delivering. The first job is to lock the trailer into position on the truck. Then we're gonna move over to the trailer supports. At the moment, they're fully extended. We're gonna hold the right analog stick until they're fully retracted. That just leaves us the cables to manage and we're gonna interact with that and we're gonna simply connect the green cable on the truck to the green cable on the trailer and exactly the same with the red cable. And there we have one safely and fully connected trailer ready for your delivery. I hope this video has been of use to you if you are thinking of picking up either the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series S or X version on July the 11th. Plenty more Alaskan road truckers here on the channel, so feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be showing the console version here on the channel hopefully as soon as possible. But that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.